So perfect timing since we just all carved our pumpkins. So how does a, a puking pumpkin sound? Pretty gross, but pretty cool, right? That's what I thought. So we had to make a science experiment out of it as we are going to see a classic chemical reaction and then set up the kids in your families to start thinking about the scientific hypothesis, scientific method. How can we learn from this? So here's what you need to get started. First, your carved pumpkin, baking soda, vinegar, food coloring, dish soap, a foil pan if you're doing it inside, and a mix mixing cup. So first, you want to carve your pumpkin. I have my little guy here. Let's call him Frank for this morning. And then take your lid off of your pumpkin and fill it up with baking soda. You want to put a healthy amount of baking soda in the base of your pumpkin there and level it out. Then your mixing cup, I put uh, food coloring, whatever color of your choice. I used green, vinegar, and then a little bit of dish soap gives it a little bit of a boost. And then you want to take this mixture and pour it into your pumpkin, sit back, relax, and watch what happens. The kids will love this. Look at this. There we go. Ew. So it's super cool. All of this puke, pumpkin puke, we'll call it, goes everywhere. So if you do it outside, it's uh, perfect. But this is our puking pumpkin. It's that classic chemical reaction. So what's happening is our base, the baking soda, is reacting with our acid, the vinegar, and it's creating carbon, creating carbon dioxide bubbles. And all those bubbles are what foam over and come out of the pumpkin. But you can work on your scientific hypothesis, the scientific method. Get thinking. Did the dish soap make it work better? Can you use... Uh, uh, lemon juice instead of vinegar, will that work better or is this mixture the best? Really get the kids thinking and learning and uh, having some fun science while making a mess with your carved pumpkin 